President Lee, First Lady Kim, Wanyong, Hamnida, Katshi, Kapsida. We go together. 우리 한미 양국은 21세기 어떠한 도전에도 함께 대처해 나갈 것을 확신합니다. 지난 60여 년의 한미 동반자 관계를 나타내는 한국어 표현이 있습니다. 한국말로 바로 같이 갑시다. 이것이 영어로 하면은 we go together가 될 것입니다. 안녕하세요. Joining me today for the discussion are Mr. Kim Tae-jin. Mr. Kim is the director from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade. And also Dr. Song Won-gun. Dr. Song is the director of Korea Economic Research Institute. Welcome to the program, both of you. Thank you. Well, let me start with you, Mr. Kim. President Lee Myung-bak's visit to the U.S. was a state visit. Mm -hmm. So could you first briefly talk about what the state visit is and how this visit is different from other visits? Okay. State visit is the highest level of visit. Uh, when a country is receiving a foreign dignitaries. In case of the U.S., there are four categories of uh, receiving foreign head of states, starting from private visit, walking visit, official visit, and ending in, in state visit. And the, up until now, the U.S. government has been limiting the number of the state visit to once or twice a year. And now the o Obama administration has hosted only four head of states. It is a Mexican President Caldera and Chinese President Hu Jintao and Indian Prime Minister Singh and, and German Premier mm -hmm. Merkel. Mm -hmm. And the President Lee is the sixth Korean President to visit the United States on a state visit, the first time in 13 years after uh, Kim Dae -jung's, President Kim Dae Jung's mm -hmm. state visit in 1998. Mm -hmm. It clearly shows the significance, you know, that uh, the U.S. is giving to our country and our bilateral relations. Okay, and this was a, a five-day visit, right? That's right. And uh, uh, I'm sure that he was having a very hectic schedule during mm -hmm. his visit. So can you talk about some of his major uh, schedules, okay. uh, some major events that uh, prepared okay. for his visit? Okay, differentiate from other forms of visit. The state visit requires an official ceremony at the White House mm -hmm. and a large-scale state you know, hosted by President Obama. And other than this, uh, uh, these essential schedules required for the state visit. There are some kind of un unprecedented schedules. He had the of informal dinner with President Obama on, in a Korean restaurant in Virginia. It also attended a state luncheon co-hosted by uh, Vice President uh, Joe Biden mm -hmm. and also Secretary Clinton. Mm -hmm. And also he visited the Pentagon for debriefing on the Korean security situation. And as you know, he addressed the, uh, the joint session mm -hmm. of the House and the mm -hmm. Senate. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, uh, the th itinerary that, that's getting our attention and very much unprecedented is that he is going to visit Detroit and visited the, the GM and Hyundai Mobis mm -hmm. uh, along with the President Obama. Mm -hmm. And actually, he had spent more than 10 hours with mm -hmm. President Obama. It's very unprecedented. Mm -hmm. Sounds like uh, he was having a very uh, busy schedule indeed. Uh, I think uh, the highlight of his visit was uh, the summit talk uh, between, uh, with, with the President uh, Obama. Mm -hmm. So can, can you, I, I'm sure you, you just mentioned that uh, his, uh, the, the summit talk, I mean, the, this is uh, like the sixth time for both presidents to hold this summit talk. Right. So uh, could you talk about uh, the things that they discussed this time? Mm -hmm. Actually, the agendas that the president covered during the summit meeting was not only about the bilateral issues of uh, security and trade, but also about the, uh, their thinking about the cooperation in regional and also global issues. Mm -hmm. And of course, the both leaders agreed to develop the current alliance of uh, alliance relationship into more solid and, and, and robust ones based on the 
uh, future vision of alliance, which was adopted in, 19, in 2009 between the two leaders, mm -hmm. uh, while the, uh, taking note that the alliance of common values and trust has been contributed to peace of the Korean Peninsula mm -hmm. and on Northeast Asia. Mm -hmm. In particular, the president agrees to make further efforts to upgrade the relations into more strategic ones, mm -hmm. uh, taking note that the, the, chorus UF, mm -hmm. the chorus FTA has been passed in the U.S. Congress. Mm -hmm. Other than this, the president had various kinds of discussions touching upon every, you know, areas in every corner of the globe, okay. mm -hmm. uh, starting from mm -hmm. the, uh, the, uh, the assistant to the Middle East, because they are uh, now in the process, process mm -hmm. democratization or something okay. like that. You, you, you just mentioned uh, President Lee Myung-bak addressed the joint session of the U.S. Congress. Mm -hmm. What were the key messages of his speech? During the speech, President Lee take note of the significance of contribution of alliance with the U.S. to miraculous uh, economic prosperity and democratization, along with expecting his high expectation that the, uh, about the prospect that newly uh, concluded core safety will bring about the job creation and business opportunities in both countries. On top of that, he, he emphasized the importance of the consistent, you know, presupp the principled approach toward North Korea based upon the clear recognition of the reality today and most significantly our strong will to widen our uh, you know, alliance to tackle various emerging you know, global threats or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Kim, I, I understand that the United, the United States extended an invitation to President Myung-bak for this state visit. I mean, uh, the U.S sort of requested uh, President Lee myung -bak's state visit. Mm -hmm. But w why though? What are their motivations? Why did, the, why did the United States invite President Lee myung -bak, particularly when the, the country is going through economically difficult times? Mm -hmm. It might be personal view, but because you know, I have to talk about the Washington's point of view, but I cannot point out two major you know, reasons and backgrounds why the U.S. government uh, invited our president in these difficult times. Mm -hmm. Actually, the first thing is that on top of the, uh, the uh, ongoing efforts domestically to overcome their economic difficulties and budget you know, restraints or something like that, they need to show to the international community and, and also domestic constituents that, that they have some key partners in an in, 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 in economic way and, and to show the message that they, they want to boost their economies by having various kinds of uh, economic partnership with the key countries in, 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 the, in the region. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, uh, the second thing is about the traditional, you know, uh, the, the things about the alliance and having, sh sh having shown the, 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 the rock solid, you know, appearance of our bilateral relations, they can uh, show and send a strong message to North Korea and also the major mm -hmm. countries in this region, I guess. Maybe we can talk more about that a little later. Uh, mm -hmm. And now let's talk mm -hmm. about the, the progress uh, in the Chorus FTA deal. Mm -hmm. uh, the ratification process had been stalled in both countries for over five years. Right. And mm -hmm. to, to the surprise of many people in both countries, uh, the U.S. Congress wasted no time mm -hmm. and passed the deal. Yeah. So uh, can you, how did this happen? Uh, yeah, the agreement, the FTA was sent to the U.S. Congress just last week. Uh, but the, the agreement, agreement should be approved by both House and the Senate. Uh, usually the Senate will review the, the agreement uh, after the House passed the agreement. Uh, but this time the House passed the trade pact Wednesday. And also the Senate passed the um, uh, trade pact also on Wednesday. This kind of situation is uh, very rare. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Coros FT uh, obtained the bipartisan support. Mm -hmm. um, for example, the Coros FT was approved uh, in the Senate. Uh, vote is like a 83 to 15. It is very uh, rare. And bipartisan support to the trade pact is also very rare uh, in the U.S. Congress. And the U.S. Congress's change of uh, attitude toward Coros FT, like a uh, bipartisan uh, rush for the approval of the FTAs, mm -hmm. Uh, I think it's, it is made in recognition of uh, President Lee myung -bak's state visit. So uh, this kind of speedy approval shows mm -hmm. that uh, U.S. Uh, uh, holds big expectations for the cross So the U.S. Senate passed the bill first, uh, even before the House did, and this was quite unusual. And you, you think uh, uh, they 
passed the bill mm -hmm. before uh, President Lee Myung Bak's state visit. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And uh, do, do you think uh, the, the ratification on the part of the American Congress was uh, present to the uh, President Lee Myung Bak? I think so, yeah, because of the, uh, because of the uh, President Lee Myung Bak's state visit. Uh, they, they, are trying to, they were trying to pass the uh, bill before his uh, state visit or, or uh, in front of uh, President Lee Myung Bak. Okay. Now, obviously, it seems that the ball is in our court. So, mm -hmm. how do you foresee the ratification process in the Korean National Assembly? Uh, yeah, in Korea, the ratification for the agreement uh, is still in the hands of National Assembly's uh, Standing Committee, uh, Foreign Affairs and Trade Committee. Mm -hmm. uh, after the af approval of the committee, the ratification of the FTA uh, will be d decided by the vote mm -hmm. uh, in plenary session. Uh, it's the General Assembly. Mm -hmm. uh, I as I know, the ruling uh, Grand National Party uh, vowed to complete the ratification uh, in the National Assembly within this month. Mm -hmm. So, uh, GMP hopes to, uh, Grand National Party hopes to have the FTA uh, go through the committee uh, on October 18th or 19th and reach the plenary session, uh, General Assembly ratification on the 28th of uh, uh, this month. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, the opposition parties mm -hmm. uh, are demanding re-renegotiation. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the Korea and the U.S. already uh, renegotiate the FTA and reach the deal, but the opposition parties uh, are demanding re-renegotiation. Mm. Uh, they are demanding the revision uh, of the 10 issues and uh, two uh, additional remedies. Uh, it's like a uh, trade uh, process law, legislation of the trade process law, and the expansion of the uh, Trade Adjustments Assistance Act, um, uh, which is uh, 10 plus 2 re renegotiation, as it is, it is called. Uh, but uh, during President State visit to the U.S., uh, they attended uh, the rally against the ratification of the mm -hmm. uh, Cross FTA, mm -hmm. uh, saying that the agreement favors the U.S. Um, uh, and should be renegotiated. Uh, I think that because of the, this kind of vehement opposition, uh, mm -hmm. a rough, maybe a rough road is expected ahead for mm -hmm. the ratification of yes. the cross FTA. Mm -hmm. But, uh, however, the um, but the opposition parties' demand for renegotiation mm -hmm. re re uh, seems uh, very okay. unrealistic uh, because mm -hmm. uh, this kind of demands implies that uh, they are against the cross FTA itself, and then. Uh, for the FTA to be effective, the renegotiation re is impossible. I think the uh, government and opposition parties okay. will give and take the so measures. Still, still and the opposition parties are asking for renegotiation mm -hmm. of the deal, and uh, they sort of pledge that they would blockade the, the ratification almost at all costs. Yeah, I think so. Seems yeah. like that we have very uh, bumpy roads ahead yeah, of right, us. Right. Uh, uh, Dr. Song, mm -hmm. uh, can you talk a, a little bit about mm -hmm. the, the net effects of the Chorus FTA if uh, it is ratified and takes effect? Okay, uh, if, it is, uh, takes it, if it takes effect, I think uh, it is expected that uh, um, GDP uh, will increase uh, 5.5 to 6 percent, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, 350,000 jobs will be created uh, in 10 years. Uh, that's the estimates of government and other mm -hmm. uh, research institute. Uh, I think that Korean producers will access to the world's largest market in the uh, largest market uh, more easily. Uh, then exports to U.S. Uh, will increase. Uh, that means that the increase in exports will encourage, encourage domestic production and investments mm -hmm. and eventually create more jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, very important. Right? And then FTA will increase competition. Mm -hmm. uh, more competition uh, will encourage innovation and the eventually the rise of pr uh, productivity. Mm -hmm. So more production, investments, jobs, I and see. productivity mm -hmm. rise will contribute to the uh, sustainable economic growth. Mm -hmm. And FTA will also increase uh, imports from the U.S. And many people are worrying about the imports of uh, the increase in uh, imports from uh, the U.S. But the increase in imports from the U.S. will help to uh, raise the mm -hmm. consumers' mm -hmm. welfare uh, in Korea. This is also the important uh, benefit from the FTA. And service sector will also benefit from the FTA because Korea is notorious for the low productivity mm -hmm. in the service mm -hmm. sector. So investments in service sector from the U.S. investors are increased and help to raise the productivity 
and competitiveness of Korean service sector, uh, those are the net effects, mm -hmm. economic effects from the course of FCA we could expect. So uh, you, you are expecting substantial economic benefits yeah, right. for both countries, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, if you take a look at other countries that entered into FTAs with mm -hmm. the United States, mm -hmm. uh, did they record any trade surpluses with the United States uh, for the first year when, when the deal went into effect? Uh, we cannot say that uh, in general FTA will generate more trade surplus an increase in trade surplus is not one of the objectives of the FTAs and is not always beneficial. There are 17 nations on, in which the FTA with the U.S. has been already in effect. Mm -hmm. So uh, some countries enjoyed more trade surplus with the U.S. and other nations experienced the uh, deter deterioration of the trade balance of payments. Mm -hmm. uh, but the main effect or benefit of the FTA is increase in trade, mm -hmm. both exports and imports. Increase in trade is beneficial to both producers and consumers for, uh, in both countries. So if the speed of increase in exports will be much faster than that of the increase in uh, imports, uh, the trade surplus will increase drastically. But otherwise, uh, we, could, uh, we could see the uh, trade deficit uh, for, for, for the time being. But uh, I think it's not a big deal. So, um, but. In any case of the FTA with the U.S., both exports and imports uh, increased uh, for this uh, 70 nations. Uh, so, so after the U.S. after the FTA with the U.S. Uh, is made effective, uh, the, the important thing is that the average growth rate of trade with U.S. for 17 countries is 10.8 uh, percent annually, which is very big. So. Um, uh, this is the big number and implies that uh, FTA with the U.S. Uh, will increase trade very much. Uh, this is the lesson we have to learn from uh, other countries' experience FTA with the U.S. Well, Mr. Kim, uh, if we can get back to the uh, summit meetings uh, mm -hmm. between uh, President Lee myung and Obama, Mr. Mm -hmm. President Obama, uh, I'm sure that they must have discussed the North Korean issue, North Korean nuclear issue, to be uh, more precise, and mm -hmm. how we should deal with this. So, uh, did they reach any agreement on this issue? I mean, do they share any consensus on this particular issue? Actually, we have been in consensus for this issue for, for the last three or, or four years, mm -hmm. and you, 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 as you know, that about the policy toward North Korea, especially about North Korean nuclear problem, the President Obama and our President Lee Myung Bak has been very much in sync. Uh, in a consistent manner, while it, the, the both presidents, while sharing the usefulness of the six-party talks in advancing North Korean nuclear problem and necessity of having uh, dialogues with North Korea, the, the two presidents was quite much hand in hand about the thinking that the key to resolve this nuclear problem ultimately is to continue our principled current principled approach based on clear recognition of the real reality today. It means that while all of us wants to see is North, Korean, North Korea's development, but that is wholly depends upon North Korea's will and intention to maintain peace and not to provoke any, you know, uh, make any provocations any longer or something like that. So they agreed in full that they will continue to make uh, their efforts to have some dialogue to engage North Korea in a consistent manner in the future. I see. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's talk about the alliance partnership between the two countries after President Lee myung Bak's state visit to the United States. Mm -hmm. Both leaders, both President Lee myung Bak and President Obama, mentioned that uh, the alliance uh, partnership between the two countries has been one of the most successful alliances in, in history. So mm -hmm. how do you foresee the future of uh, the alliance between the two countries after President Lee myung Bak's state visit? Mm -hmm. As you know, the future alliance of the alliance, which was agreed in, in 2009, between the two presidents was uh, taken note as the kind of starting point for upgrading our, our mm -hmm. uh, current you know, status of alliance and for the upgrade our alliance. Mm -hmm. So through this vision, the two leaders agreed to uh, upgrade our alliance into more strategic ones mm -hmm. by dealing with you know, in together, together the issues of Korean Peninsula, regional issues and the world based on common values and trust between the two countries. Mm -hmm. So the state visit of this time, mm -hmm. uh, realized after the ratification of the Chorus FTA by the U.S. Congress, has shown to international community and, 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 and this region this upgraded strategic alliance and the importance of Korea in this region 
and also in uh, you know political terms and economic terms, as well as the rough you know solid bilateral you know uh, security posture. Mm -hmm. uh, especially, it can be the message to the North Korea. So all in all, President Im Young Bak's visit to the United States will serve as a catalyst to to upgrade the alliance between the two countries. That's right. Okay. Uh, lastly, uh, seems that the, the relations between the two countries has has been improving in recent years. Mm -hmm. But uh, w what are the things that we have to work more to sustain this positive momentum? Well, what are the things that we have to to improve on? Uh, we need to uh, ratify the cross FTA first. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> because. Um, yeah. Cross that FTA is very important for the global economy, I think, because at U.S., uh, many people are worrying about the uh, U.S. economy uh, will go into the deep again, into the uh, recession again, uh, which is a very uh, negative effect, uh, which will have a very negative effect on the global economy. And the Korean economy is very uh, heavily dependent upon the uh, global economy. So the recession of the U.S. economy is a very... Uh, big uh, effect for the Korean economy, so uh, we need to ratify the cross FTA first. Um, so uh, if the cross FTA uh, is made effective, uh, take effective, um, I, the U.S. government estimates that this FTA will generate uh, 11 billion in new exports to Korea uh, from U.S., uh, which will uh, instigate or the, uh, make a role as a catalyst for the U U.S. economy uh, mm -hmm. to revive again. So uh, for the global economy and the, for the Korean economy, we need to ratify the cross FTA first. Okay, I see. Uh, uh, Mr. Kim, you, you're from the policy-making circle. The relations between the two countries are in good shape, but what are the things that we need to work on more? What are the things that we need to improve? Mm -hmm. As described by President Lee in his speech at the Congress, the Korea-U.S. alliance in the future will see continuous growth and evolution, leading to much stronger one. The importance of this alliance in dealing with North Korea and the security front will be continue to be a basis and cornerstone of our alliance. And 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 and, but by transforming this alliance in, into more strategic one, playing as a catalyst to to lead growth and security in the in the Pan-Pacific region, the alliance will be. Uh, furthering as a linchpin frequently described by President Obama and, and Secretary Clinton. In this sense, uh, uh, along with this kind of uh, the efforts on the security front, we need to institutionalize cooperation in various ar areas other than security. It is very much important in this sense, FTA and our resolve to be a more active player in the international community will be a basis and, 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 and for, the, for this Mm -hmm. FOS, I guess. Mm -hmm. okay. Many analysts are saying that uh, the relations between the two countries has never been better than it is now. But uh, to keep this uh, g good momentum going, positive momentum going, and to sustain the, the good relations, I think both countries will, will have to continuously uh, work harder. Well, this is all for today's discussion. Thank you very much for sharing your insights today. Thank you very much. Thank you.